earth, honoring the temple of your body. Muladhara now remains awakened at the base of the spine as you open to the six-petaled lotus of the second chakra, called Svadhisthana, meaning one's own place. This chakra is related to the element water and represents the continuous ebb and flow of duality. Opposites, attracting, moving and flowing toward each other with a primal longing to merge together as one. Here you tap into the inner movement of life force energy pulled by the currents within your soul, urged by your longings and desires. At the level of the second chakra, the Kundalini serpent both divides and unites, creating the eternal yin-yang of existence, spinning in ultimate balance. In the body, this chakra emanates from the sacrum, the hips, and the pelvis as the seat of movement, sensation, pleasure, desire. As two bodies connect with each other in erotic communion, they become one in ecstatic embrace, opening to the waters of passion and their ocean of bliss. Satisfied, you move from the waters of the second chakra into the third chakra, located at the solar plexus, the yellow lotus of Manipura, which means lustrous gem. to fire. Here the divine spark of consciousness ignites the fires of your will to burn through resistance and vitalize your entire being. Pulsating flames of energy enliven you to awaken your power, to burn with purpose, to strengthen your will. Keep that flame alive through all your trials and tribulations as you burn through blocks into ever greater freedom and power. Lest that fire burn itself out, that power must be tamed. Through diligent practice, you ignite the energies within and around you. No small task as you follow the chaotic and fiery serpent of Kundalini, harnessing her energy to bring it into your belly and blossom forth as power. This fire now carries and sustains you as you burn through the ego and dissolve into the lustrous gem that is the true source of power in Manipura. (laughs) 
Leaving the third chakra ignited, you rise up to the heart to find a green lotus of twelve petals called anahata, meaning unstruck or unhurt. The element of this chakra is air as you rise up into the softness and spaciousness of the sky. Now the Kundalini Serpent carries you upward on the wings of love to embrace the awakening of Divine Spirit which bids your heart to open and fly free. Expanding into the element air with each breath you take, you soar toward the infinite, becoming light and spacious within. Dancing playfully with another, you enter the mystery of love and relationship as you transcend the ego and journey with others into the divine realm of the heart. Uniting heaven and earth, masculine and feminine, mind and body, in perfect balance. The heart is a soft place, tender, deep, a place of compassion and connection. When awakened, the heart beats with the rhythm of life, pulsing its love through all your relations, self and other, culture and planet, human and divine. Opening your own heart, you align with the global heart, now dawning at the frontiers of social awareness. of the heart, you now move into the blue lotus of 16 petals, located in the throat, called Vishuddha, whose name means purification. 